show you our Genesis today. We're going to go over some of the features on the Genesis. It has a 140 gallon fish tank in the bottom. So there's a little door flap that you can access your fish through and the fish tank is down below. We have a water pump inside the fish tank that brings the water up into a swirl filter located right here. The water swirls around, the solids settle out, then the water flows into clay pebble bed. So this is a about an 11 inch deep clay pebble bed. As the water fills up in here, uh, about every 30 minutes, there's an auto siphon at the back that triggers this to drain. And the water drains and goes into one of our hydro beds. So this is the bell siphon at the back of the Genesis. It triggers about every 30 minutes or so. And this water flows down this drain tube. If all you have purchased is the Genesis, it's going to flow right back into the fish tank. But if you've got hydro beds like we do here, then we divert the water over here through one more mechanical filter. And then these hydro beds actually are elevated. It's what I call an elevated bed. So there's an air gap. These rest in a lip in the top, and there's an air gap between the water and the roots of the plants. So as this water rises, it pushes into the next bed, which is level, on down, and then by gravity, as the last bed begins to overflow, it overflows back and comes back to the fish tank by gravity. We do have an air pump, and it's mounted here on the side of the hydro bed, and we're blowing in about 38 liters of air into this bed all the time. There's also an air pump inside the Genesis just for the fish, so we have two air pumps in the system and one water pump. So let's go over just a few of the plants in this aquaponic system. We have some cinnamon basil right here. This is a rainbow chard. This is a squash. We've got several onion plants. And then up here in the main bed, uh, this is a bell pepper. And it's pretty loaded up. I think there's about six or seven bell peppers that need to come off. Uh, there's a strawberry plant right there. If I thin those out, if I spent the time to thin those strawberries out, it would make a much larger berry. We have lots of green beans. These green beans are just uh, pretty much ready to pick. A Genesis could also have a wicking bed attached to it. You could have up to two wicking beds. So we would use the water from the Genesis to um, water the wicking bed with. So this is a wicking bed here. And it's a soil-based uh, growing system, so you can grow just about anything with it. What I've got going on here, we, I think we've harvested uh, maybe seven or eight cucumbers so far. I've got a bell pepper plant, a bunch of onions. And then over here we've got a cantaloupe that's trellising up. And uh, actually we've got several cantaloupes growing, so I'm excited about that. So this is a Genesis G12. A G12 would be just this portion here with one grow bed. A Genesis G24 would be the, this main system plus one of these hydro beds. And then a G36 would be this system with two of the hydro bed. So actually this entire system that you're looking at here would be a Genesis 36, which means it has 36 square feet of grow bed space. Thank you for watching.